welcome to the MOOC Academic Counseling for Open and Distance Learning, ODL Learners. This series of videos is based on 21st century ODL learners. In this video, we shall specifically deal with understanding the difference between the learners in the ODL system and the conventional system. We shall start by discussing ODL and its significance briefly. As we know, education has become a fundamental necessity and right in a constantly evolving world. But the conventional form of education is not accessible to all. In such a scenario, a new and parallel system of education emerged, which is open and distance learning. One of the major reasons for the success of the ODL system is the open and educational resources, that is OER revolution, because of which a lot of learning materials become freely available and accessible. Most of the ODL learners learn and work simultaneously. They are motivated learners who try to apply the learning immediately into their field of engagement, mostly as an occupation or a field of learning. A few advantages of ODL are shown in the given image. When compared to the conventional system, the ODL system often faces sharp criticism. The advantages and the importance of ODL are overlooked. One of the reasons that the conventional system, which has been around for a long time, has a very strong base while ODIL is making its presence felt. It is why the conventional learners are often preferred over their ODIL counterparts during job interviews. Now, one arrives at a quite essential question that why should learners choose ODL despite all the criticisms? Let us look at a few factors that make ODL a worthy choice. The first and the most important factor is that ODL makes education available even to the marginalized and poor. Learning is the ODL system is cost effective because of free educational resources, no or negligible cost of travel. ODL is a boon for the youth who are already engaged in work. This helps such people to enhance their qualifications and readiness. ODL attends a large number of people who aspire for higher education. Next, we will go on to look at the evolution of learners in the 21st century and their basic characteristics. Before we go into the evolution of ODL learners, let us take a glance at the basic characteristics of adult learners. They have a keen interest in learning. They learn from not just from textbooks, but from everything around them. They are also eager to apply the learning into their life. Their main source of information is the internet. The present day learners appreciate teamwork and engage in group and offers. These learners prefer activity-based learning, moving out of the short style of memorizing. They are ever ready to face challenges and get through them successfully. The figures show the gradual transition in the age group of the ODL learners with the passage of time. Earlier, the majority of the ODL learners belonged to the age group of 25 to 40. These learners were mostly trying for a second chance after failing to get in the conventional educational system. But that contemporarily, ODL learners belong to the age group of 17 to 25. This signifies that the ODL is no more a second option. It has come to coexist with the conventional system. This situation demands ODL to cope up with the demands 
of this new kind of lungs. Odial system must be able to provide or create equal chances for its learners in relation to the conventional learners. The system needs to adapt and update itself with the new trends and the latest technologies to cater to the needs of the young learners. Now we shall look at how the distance learners differ from their conventional counterparts. The ability to multitask is one feature that differentiates the distance learners from conventional learners. These learners manage their study and work simultaneously. They are not dependent on teachers. They are self-motivated and self-educate themselves with guidance from the academic counselors and teachers. Another striking feature of difference among the learners is the decision-making ability. While the conventional learners may be unsure at times while taking decisions, the distance learners seems to be more capable to taking important decisions. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Watch the next video to learn more about 21st century learners and open and distance learning. Thank you.